Hey everybody, to start this video off, uh, one of the most asked questions is, where can I find the MIDI file? Right here. See this? Right there. Um, or actually more accurately, right there. And you just scroll down and try to find it. Um, if you can't find it, if you have trouble finding it, then all you have to do, control F, push some keys, uh, and you should find it. If you don't, keep in mind, it tends to, you see how it puts those underscores? Yeah. Uh, when you do control F, you might have to include those, or just search for the first word or something. I don't know. Um, now, a related question is, you know, okay, so I clicked on the download file, and this, this pops up. What's up with that? it's not letting me download. Well, to download, right-click, save link as. That's all you have to do. And that should answer your question. Another question I get asked a lot is, uh, where can I find the sheet music? Well, the short answer is that there is no sheet music. However, you can download one of these, uh, and then Google for a MIDI to sheet, oh there it is, MIDI to sheet music converter, and as you can see I've already looked at some of these, and they're pretty good, and I think they're mostly free. So there you go. The question I get asked every once in a while is, uh, how do I use this program? Um, well, you want to open it, and then if the problem you're having is, you know, I can't get it to load my MIDI, then you hit uh, play, manage watch folders, add new watch folder, and you find your folder that the MIDI's in, and you add it. That's all there is to it. And then you'll be able to find it in this choose a song thing here in the background. Um, just whatever the name of the file is, you just find it there in the, uh, in the thing, the little window here. Handling requests is sometimes hard. Um, sometimes it's an easy song and I can do it. Sometimes it's not. Um, nonetheless, you should probably send your request, instead of putting it in the comments, send it to this email address. I will handle it through there. Uh, one of two things will happen. Either I'll just directly send you, because I have this program, and it converts MP3s into MIDIs. They're not very good. They're very, very, like, it shows so many notes, but if you slow it down to, like, 10%, you can see which notes are being played by just listening and seeing as the notes are hitting the keyboard in Synthesia, you can see um, what's going on, and you can learn that way. Or, if it's not that bad, and I like the song, and I want to do it, maybe I'll actually just figure it out myself. So, but you should still email me. Also, email me either a YouTube link or a link where I can download the MP3 for free. I use a few programs um, when I make the MIDI's and put it every put everything on YouTube. Um, the first thing I do is I I get the as I mentioned earlier, I just I convert the MP3 into a MIDI file, and I use IntelliScore for that. It costs like ninety dollars. I think that's what I paid for it. And then I use Synthesia to maybe it's Synthesia. I I've heard it both ways. Either way, I use that program to, um, you know, 
look at it and see what's being played. And then I put everything into Brel's MIDI editor. Um, it's a pretty good MIDI editor. You have a lot of like freedom or whatever. Whereas Anvil, you don't really have as much, I would say. You have to use specific lengths and stuff, whereas Brel's, you can just change it to pr pretty much anything, which is really nice. After that, I watch the video in Synthesia, and I use Fraps to record it. Um, it's not free either. So, but Brel's and Synthesia are both free, and Tell the Score and Fraps are not. Um, yeah, I think that's all I use. Right now I'm actually using Hypercam, and I've I've been using that during this because Fraps does not record, uh, you know, just being on your desktop or I don't think it even records like Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome, or Firefox or whatever. It has to be like in a program. It's designed for like video games and stuff. Um, and I'm also using PowerPoint right now. So I think that's it though. By the way, if you have any more questions, just put them in this comment section, please. Um, and I will address them directly to you. I will reply with a comment, and then I'll put your comment in the description. So, by the way, if you've reached the end of this video and your question hasn't been answered, please check the description first.